Hello everyone, welcome to Clash Encoder. So in this video, we will see the popular question that is palindromic array. So this question is a medium level question and has been asked in interviews for Amazon, Google, etc. So let's see the problem statement. So you are given an array A of size N. Your task is to find the minimum number of operations needed to convert the given array to palindromic array. So that means that we will be given an array which will not be a palindromic and we will have to find the minimum number of operations to make it palindrome. So you can see this example is given 23, 15 and 23. So actually what is a palindrome? If you don't know, palindrome is like if you traverse from left right, uh, left side or the right side, it will be the same value. If you see 23, 15 and 23. If you traverse from right side also, you can see 23, 15 and 23. So that means if you read from left or right, it will be same thing. If it is a string or array, you can see. So here you can see this but 2, 0 and 1. So this is not a palindrome because you can see 2 is not equal to 1. So uh, these elements should be equal. This 2 and this 1 and the, if there is single element, so it is always a palindrome. So it should be equal. This is not a palindrome. So we will have to make it a palindrome. So you can see uh, the allowed operation is that you can merge two adjacent elements in the array and replace them with their sum. So I will explain you. So uh, let's see. Uh, so yeah, you can see the constraints also here. The constraints are not much larger. You can see the elements will be from 0, 1 to 10, 100 and the size of the array will be also one from 1 to 100. So these test cases, I will explain you. You can see this is the first test case that we that we are given. So we will be given the number of the test cases. Then we will be given the n that is the size of the array, then the elements of the array. And we have to output the minimum number of operations. So actually, if you don't know what is a palindrome, so let's see. So palindrome is a string or an array. You can see a simple string, which uh, like if we read it from left side or right side, it would be the same value. If you read it from uh, left side, you can see it is 3 to, uh, 3 to 3 only. And if you read from right side also, it is 3 to 3. So actually, uh, how can you check a palindrome? You can see the last and the, this elements you can see are equal. In, if there are more elements, say this one and one, so you can see this one and one are equal, okay, same, and this three and three are same, and always a single element is always a palindrome. If you are given one, uh, n is one, and you are given only one element, so it is always a palindrome. Single element is always a palindrome, okay. So let's see what we are we are given and what we have to do. So this is the array that we are given. You can see I have written this array, and it is not a palindrome. You can see it is not a palindrome. Three is not equal to five, and this two is also not equal to three. And we have to find the minimum number of operations to make it a palindrome. And here the operations means that we can add two adjacent elements. So adjacent elements actually mean the indices are continuous. You can see if this is three, so its adjacent element can be this three or this five. So you can see this. Uh, we, what we can do is we can take two adjacent elements and uh, add their sum to the array and remove these elements. You can see this is three and five. So what we will do is we will simply remove three and five and add their sum. So it, it, their sum is eight. So this eight will be added to the array. Using this technique, we have to uh, form this uh, array as a palindrome. So let's see what we can do in this array. So we are given three, two, three, and three and five. And if you see here, this is the five, but this five is not matching with three. So what we can do is we can merge these two. You can see three plus two will be five. So we can add the five to this array and this three and two will be deleted. Now, if you see this five is added, okay, this five, three, and you can see five. So this is added. Actually, let me check if I am doing the uh, right. So yes, you can see this is correct. So yeah, the, this test case I was checking, you can see three, five, three, uh, three, five. So this is what uh, our input was. And now you can see we uh, deleted these elements and added their sum to the array. So we remove these elements and add their sum to the array and you can see now it is a palindrome 5, 3 and 5. You can see if we read from it left side also or right side also it is the same thing. Now the minimum number of operations that we did was only one. So using one operation only we did this and we made it a palindrome. Now let's see and you can see output is also one. Now here also you can check the output is one and let's see the second test case. So you can see second test case is 5, 3 and 4. So it is not a palindrome. You can see 5 and 4 are not equal. But now if you see if you merge this element, so this will not be, be a palindrome. Uh, anyhow you can see if we try to merge this you can see uh, this value is less so we will merge this first of all let's see so 3 plus 4 will be 7 so 5 and 3 and 7 it is becoming this now also it is not a palindrome if we add this also it will become 5 plus 3 8 and this 7 remains so 8 plus 7 what will be 8 plus 7 so it will be actually 13 oh sorry 8 plus 7 will be 15 you can see 
15 so now if you see carefully if we are given array of like this so i hope uh, i think that most of you won't have understood this why this is three in this array so actually it is three because if we cannot form a palindrome we will merge all the we will keep merging all the adjacent elements and at the end we will be left with only one element as i told you the one element is always a palindrome a single element or a single character is always a palindrome so this 15 is a palindrome and you can see what we did was we merged this to five and three so this was one operation then we merged this three and four so it was the second operation and then we merged these two so what was the operation total operation so it was three one plus one plus one so this is what our answer is you can see output is three so now how we can approach this question if you think of this uh, like we have to merge the elements and add their sum to the array so how we will remove those elements from the array so it uh, seems to be difficult but uh, i will show you a simple algorithm so let's see what we can do in this then i will show you the algorithm and the pseudocode so let's see so now how we can how we can check if it is a palindrome or not the simple way to check a string is a palindrome or not what we do is we uh, we set a pointer to the starting and the pointer to the end of the array so now you can see if we check this value so this value is not equal to the this value so this is not a equal thing so it is not a palindrome so what we can do is we can merge the two elements so now if you see this 3 is smaller than 5 so that means if you merge 5 is th this 3 so it will not at all be equal to this 3 because it is already greater so what we can do is to maximize our probability what we will do is we will um, we will add or uh, add the minimum element out of the two elements you can see 3 and 5 so 3 and 5 if we add 5 with some other element it will be obviously greater than 3 because it is uh, it if it is simple or uh, single also then also it is greater so if we add it to some other element so it will be obviously greater than 3 so we have to maximize the value of 3 or make the 3 greater so what we can do is we can merge the 3 with its adjacent element so what we will do is we will set our pointer to this value now if you see we merge this 3 and 2 and what we will do is we will simply save the value of 3 plus 2 into this index that we are on we will not add anything or delete anything what we will do is we will simply modify the array that we are given so what we can do is we can uh, cut this to and we will set its value to 2 plus 3 so it will be 5 now if you see our j or the second uh, pointer is at this index and the first pointer is at this index now if you compare these are equal now when they come to the next index you can see these are also equal so that means we have got our palindrome and the maximum uh, operation that we did was uh, the one operation only you can see we uh, use this uh, to merge them so let's see the algorithm so actually i have explained the most of you uh, most of the algorithm to you so let's see so this is a pseudo word that i have written as i told you we have to use a two pointers so for using two pointers we will have to initialize i is equal to zero because i will be starting from uh, the it will be checking from the start and j will be checking from the end you can see and a result variable that will be the minimum number of operations we will add it when we will merge some elements so now if you see i as i told you there will be three conditions so we will have to run a while loop first of all so while i is less than equal to j so this equal to sign is for a single element as single element is always a palindrome so it cannot be like our array will be of odd or even so it can be odd length or even length so that is why we have to take this equal to also if i and j are equal or at same index so it will obviously up a palindrome so that particular element so that is why we will be using i less than equal to j so as i told you when i and j become equal so that means they are on same element so it will be a palindrome uh, so if they are equal sorry if they are equal like if i is a, uh, this this is one and this is one you can see a of i is one and a of j is also one so this condition is true so that means this is uh, we don't have to modify this because it is already uh, same so it is already a palindrome so what we will do is we will have to increment our i and decrement our j because j is running from n so it will go to zero index so you can see j will go to zeroth index uh, till, till zero or you can say while it is not equal to i so you can see now this elements so we have got this element so uh, these all are in if else blocks you can see if else if and else so if this condition was true as uh, this one and one are equal so these were skipped so now if you see this four and five and four and five are not equal so this condition will be skipped now as i told you if we try to add five to some other element so it will obviously greater than four because it is or oh, 5 is only great, greater than 4 so if we add it to some other element so it will become more greater than 4 so we have to maximize our probability of making 4 equal to 5 so to do that as 4 is less so we will always uh, if we are on this element if we are on this element our first uh, pointer and second pointer so we will find the minimum of these elements so you can see in this condition else if a of i is greater than a of j so th that is not true a of i is 4 and a of j is 5 so it is not greater than uh, this 5 so it will enter into this condition you know if you see it will enter into the else part so that means the first element is smaller so that means we need to merge this element not this element 
so to merge this element what we will do is we will if i is here so now we can see we will increment our i as we will merge an added value to this point so we don't have to uh, th think of this array we have to just return the minimum number of operations and we can work on this array in o of one space so we will uh, modify it in place so what we will do is i will come here first of all i will come here then i is here so we will have to save the value of their merge uh, operation into this index so it will be actually you can see here i a of i is 1 a of i plus a of i minus 1 which is 4 so 4 plus 1 will be 5 so 5 will be saved so these are merged and j is here now it will iterate to the next uh, next iteration so this is kept now you can see it will iterate to the next iteration now you can see i a of i is equal to a of j so that is true you can see a of i is equal to equal to a of j 5 and 5 are equal so that means it i will be incremented and j will be decremented so both will be pointing to this index if both are pointing to same index that means we have checked the our our array given array fully so that means both are on same index so which is already a palindrome so we can simply we, this condition will add you can see i plus plus and j minus minus when they become equal so it will try to add them but you can see uh, i will become greater than j so this condition will be false then we can simply return our result so our re result will be written so our result here was one you can see we only merged this four and if uh, the, here one was given so we merged four and one and got five so only one operation was required now you can see on this uh, example also let me show you on this example also let's see so in this example that we are given so uh, let me print it here so yeah so let me erase this and move this i hope you understood this basic bro it is a really a basic algorithm actually it's not uh, much to understand so so you can see in this array first our i will be here okay at 5 and j will be here now if you see these are not equal so let me raise this also this condition will be not true first condition will be not true now if you see this 4 is less than 5 so that means this condition is true a of i is greater than a of j so that means we will merge this element first of all we will decrement our uh, decrement our index so j will be decremented it will come to 3 and then we will add uh, a, a value of a of j that is this 3 plus a of j plus 1 which is this 4 so it will be added so now our l will be 5 3 and here it will be 7 now if you see it is 7 so i is at this point j is at this point now if you compare them again so they are not equal so that means this value is smaller so we will we will merge it with the uh, value that is first i will decrement i will come to this 3 then we will do is uh, a of i is equal to a of i plus uh, uh, plus a of i minus 1 a of i this it is that is previous index so it will be 5 plus a 3 Th that will be 8 now if you see it is not again equal so i is here j is here 8 and 7 i is here j is here now again if you try to merge them so it will be like this will be merged with this element so we will be left with only 15 so which is single element so that means a of i and uh, j will become equal so that uh, that will be our result will be uh, result will be coming and our result will be actually 3 here now if you see we merge 5 and 3 then we merge 3 and 4 then we merge the total value that was we were getting that is 8 and 7 so our index uh, the value was 3 so let's see the code so actually you have to write the code yourself only here the main function is not given so you will have to code it yourself so let's see how we can do that so you can see first we are given the test cases so for uh, for you can see inputting the test case i have taken this uh, integer and then seen this uh, test case then while this uh, test case are running you can see t minus minus it is not zero till then we will call this function so this uh, function contains the main logic or the algorithm that will be given so you can see first we will take input the n the size of the array then the elements of the array you can see here and then we will initialize our indices that are uh, the pointers that is a of uh, this i and j and now you can see i is zero and j is n minus one and the result variable that we have to print or return what we will do is we will simply run a while loop while i is less than or equal to j and we will check if these both elements are equal a of j a of i and a of j that means the first and the last element are equal or the pointers are equal then we will simply increment uh, the first pointer and the decrement the last pointer because they are equal so we need not to do anything if some values are equal here let me raise this also so uh, where was our example so actually i forgot example so if it if it was like 3 1 3 so if they are equal so we'll simply increment i and decrement j because they're equal so we need not to perform any operation otherwise if the first value is less than the second value or the second pointer value then we will decrement our second pointer and then update its value and then merge it with the adjacent element otherwise if our first pointer value is less than the second pointer value then we will have to merge our first pointer value to maximize its uh, probability to match with the 
second pointer value so that is what we are doing and you can see at every step we are uh, incrementing our result because here we are performing the merging operation so to perform the merge operation we are only using the array only in place we are merging so that is why we don't need any space also and the time complexity of this we, uh, will be also o of n because you can see we are only traversing the array and we are using only two pointers in this one loop only we are finding our solution so it the time complexity for this solution will be actually o of n okay o of n will be the time complexity and space will be simply o of 1 because we are not we are not using any space to save any array or find if it is a well known first of all anything so we are simply traversing and maximizing our probability of uh, like minimizing our operations to perform so this was the solution for it let's submit it so it is submitting actually so i hope you like this video and i will also provide the code in the description so you can see it successfully ran and it only took 0.01 second so 0.0, .0 uh, you can see time so it was a really quick solution so i hope you like this video guys so do subscribe this channel and share this video like this video thank you for watching guys